Tammy Trier, Mount Woman Journals here at TrierWilderness.com. All kinds of good stuff going on here. Um, I just thought I'd share this with you today. I have a um, moose burger shepherd's pie going in the solar oven right now. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with that, it's mashed potatoes and typically you put the burger in layers in between mashed potatoes and a vegetable typically. We use a pea. Um, but I put the burger on top today. Um, I'm just experimenting a little bit. Uh, but this is some amazing moose meat that uh, the mountain man uh, shot this past fall. So we thought we would uh, use that and enjoy that for today. And as you can hear the chainsaw in the background, uh, the mountain man has the chainsaw going and the backhoe going. He's pulling logs to uh, build our raised beds for our garden. It's been so wet here, it's just finally now drying out. So we're getting that going and our cool mornings are dissipating. So my seedlings inside can soon come outside. Very excited to get our garden going this year. So um, stay tuned. Um, like I said, there is so much going on. You can find this solar series also with the recipes on my website at treyerwilderness.com. And the mountain boy uh, got his learner's permit for Idaho last Tuesday, so he's been out uh, doing some driving, uh, which has been interesting. I didn't have to use the brake on the right side and uh, didn't have to go grabbing a hold of any bars. Every, all's good. Um, he's progressing into a good driver, so um, we'll be heading out to do some more of that today. Um, but there's so much going on out here, and we want to keep you involved. Um, Stay tuned for more on the gardening. There'll be sourdough. I'm actually making a sourdough, probably a blueberry sourdough um, crisp today. I made a peach one last night. That was kind of experimental um, because it needs to sit six hours, and I didn't have six hours, so I just threw it together. And it actually turned out really good, but today I'm giving it the six hours to uh, sit before I, I uh, start working with it. I'm going to spin this around just so you can see the dish and then um, I'll pop back on and show you but stay tuned there's so much more going on really glad to have you following us and I uh, want to share as much as we can this summer um, on everything we're doing so stay tuned. Go. There is the moose burger already starting to cook in the sun this is so convenient so easy and it's just I really am enjoying it greatly um, it's a fantastic way to utilize our resources and a nice way while we're out working like crazy people out here right now this is just a crazy time of year so to be able to be working in the garden mowing grass taking care of animals whatever we're doing you know we know that we're gonna have a nice tasty meal at the end of the day so all American Sun Oven definitely has my vote this is just an awesome product um, I'm also going to show you some other um, things that we are working on out here for cooking in the sun. Um, that'll be a little later, but stay tuned. And uh, thanks again for joining us. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter on our website so you get all of our uh, current updates. I thought I would show you this. We are starting to work heavily on the garden today. Um, over here is what will eventually be our greenhouse. Um, but we are getting the garden going today. You can hear the backhoe running in the background, and he was just cutting some trees. Um, but I'm going to spin this around and show you. Um, it doesn't look like anything right now, but it's going to look really nice in a little bit. So stay hey tuned. Hey guys, as you can see, things have progressed. Got our dead timber in here. This will be the garden. These are going to be our frames for our raised beds. There's Mountain Ben and Mountain Man. Mountain Boy and I just got back from a drive. Got his learner's permit, so he's been driving me around. <laughs> Off to get another log. And there, my friends, is the 1951 Willie Jeep. And the Mountain Boy. <laughs> And I'll show you dinner real quick here. Hopefully the movement isn't too bad. Oh, they'll, well, it is kind of glaring, but got a nice broth going on there from the moose burger on top of our potatoes and vegetables. Yum, and it smells wonderful. I've just realized I've got two really good benefits. One is that the guys come over here to get a good smell of it every so often, so they're looking forward to dinner. And second is I've got automatic turner or rotator for the uh, 
sun oven because they come over and check on it and smell it and then move it for me. <laughs> so all is good. Um, stay tuned. We're going to keep showing you what's going on here with the garden and show you how it's going to be set up and getting our veggies growing. So stay tuned. It's another beautiful morning in Idaho. The men are working on our garden today. Um, we uh, found some cedar trees that were left on slash piles last year that we are able to use for our posts. Uh, we need to put deer fence around this whole garden. Um, like I mentioned, this whole area here is going to be the garden. These trees that you see here are dead logs from on our property that are going to uh, be the frame for my raised beds. And you can see the bees there in the background. Um, it's a busy time here um, in the wilderness. We've got so many projects going on. So you are going to see the mountain man um, while I'm videoing pretty much most of the summer because he's busy doing stuff and doesn't have time to video. And I'm blasting around all the different locations here, keeping up with everything and trying to record and document stuff while I'm working also. Um, I do have a... Uh, um, sun oven heating up actually two of them right now and evidently he's got words to say yes i do um S speak <laughs> there's i know before um we had said about doing the yarns of the cabin come spring um that's not gonna quite work out this year uh, i'm hoping i can still do it but it'll be a little bit later in the year um, some things came up uh for now for a little while um, so I'm not going to have time to do it, um, but I'm hoping here when this calms down a little bit, we'll have time to do it as a family and get that up and going. We are going to do that though, but just have to hold tight with us a little bit. Like we'll, I said, there's some things came up. And we'll so. keep you posted on it. We'll, we'll start hyping it again when we are able. We're hoping for this fall, maybe. Yeah, I have all Even the early winter. cut um, to Lent. And, and all that, but it's just, like I said, something come up, so, yeah. um, but we will be, we will be doing that, so just stay tuned for that. Yeah, for sure, and um, there's so much going on right now, you're going to get a lot of education this summer with the varying projects that we do have going on. This is going to be one of them, and this will be from start to finish, because what we are growing in this garden, I will be canning and dehydrating and preserving and fermenting and you name it, so um, I do have a, like I said, I have the sun ovens heating up, I have two breads and a, a a bowl that I'm going to be cooking for the mountain boy and I also have a um, another blueberry crisp that I think I may actually have time to do in one of the sun ovens so stay tuned we've got a lot going on the solar series is going and that's going to be all summer too so I'm going to uh, check back on the guys a little later and show you the progress for the garden today. Hi it's Tammy Treyer. thought I'd jump back on here and show you um, the progress that's being made here. Our cedar uh, posts are up partially. Um, we needed to be able to still get dirt in here and get the other beds in place. So um, we've got one bed there and another one in the back by the bees. So there'll be one going horizontally back there by the bees and then the others will be in the front here. But um, it's really coming along. Very excited. Um, going to have to be working the dirt and getting our mulch and, and um, compost material in there yet. Um, but this is exciting. It's all coming together. So uh, we will have a nice big garden and the deer will not be able to get in it. So all is good. Thanks guys. Yep. <laughs> Here is our garden. We worked on this for several days. Um, the mountain man and mountain Ben were working on this, putting in the posts. They uh, forage for the posts too. We have a lot of slash piles out here from when they log, and those were some of the cedar posts that were in from last year's timbering. So that benefited us greatly. So we have our uh, cedar posts. Um, they milled 
the wood that you see around the um, top and bottom and the door on our sawmill. And uh, the logs that you see in there for the raised beds were from um, dead timber on our property. So um, this is a really awesome um, time. We've been waiting, awaiting our garden. Um, we've been so busy building the structures and, and getting our land ready. Uh, this area here you'll, you'll have seen in the beginning of the video was pretty swampy and um, rooted up and quite the mess. Um, we had done some burning here as well and uh, so it took a while to get it ready and we also had to wait for it to dry out that we could even get in here so our beds are in there there are the four beds across the front and there is a horizontal bed across the back um, the beehives are back there um, that horizontal bed will be wildflowers and medicinal herbs so the bees will be getting some good nourishment and um, along this far side over here we will have our blueberry bushes uh, transplanted in there um, so that we can mulch them and tend to them a little better and we also will have potato bins in there a sweet potato bin and a regular potato bin we will be growing those vertically also um, so this is really exciting um, everything ha was handcrafted the uh, hinges on this door um, the mountain man handcrafted on the forge and same with the uh, lock so this is a I think it's seven feet eight inches high on the uh, fencing which will prevent the deer from getting in there so uh, it'll be nice and secure really really excited about this um, we are still getting um, 40 degree temperatures in the morning um, it has been down in the 30s uh, frost is still a possibility so um, as you can see, there are two beds yet that need to be uh, rooted through, more or less. Um, there's a lot of scrub oak type um, plants out here, and they're load the soil is loaded with the roots. So uh, we were pulling those out and uh, raking the soil down, and now we have to put our compost on top. So um, really excited. Our uh, seeds are sprouting indoors, and um, over here we have the frame for the uh, greenhouse and that is my potting table and solar kitchen right there so we've got other projects ahead but wanted to share this with you share the finished um, garden and we will continue this will be an ongoing um, series this summer with our garden foraging from our garden canning so stay tuned. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. You can email us at survive at treyerwilderness.com and you can also find our website at treyerwilderness.com. We have a weekly newsletter. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, Google, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Pinterest, and, uh, and so much going on. So thank you so much for joining us and uh, Till the next video, you guys take care and God bless. Okay guys, it is the end of the day here. My moose burger has cooked up real nice and there was a nice broth going on in there which um, did cook over a little bit, but boy does that smell good. Mountain man's here. He can attest to the good smell. Has a smell. Oi, he's cheating. Get out of there. <laughs> Alright, do tell. That'll work. That'll work? That'll do? Yeah. yeah. That'll do? Good stuff. <laughs> All right, there you have it. From the mountain man's mouth. <laughs> so, again, that's a shepherd's pie. It's got uh, potatoes in there, a vegetable, and our wonderful, delish moose burger on top. So, we are going to go in and eat, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So, like I said, stay tuned. There's so much more going on. I'm going to be making some bread in here tomorrow. Um... And the sourdough crisp we're going to make in the house, and you won't see that. It'll probably come out of the oven and disappear, right? <laughs> All right, well, you guys take care. Thanks so much for joining us, and until next video, God bless.